as we can see that the electromagnetic problems are now modeled in terms of mathematical equations okay now suppose there is a physical world problem suppose there is a car moving with a velocity v which is equal to change in distance upon time mean suppose you have to find out the velocity then you have to solve this differential equation or it is called as the ordinary differential equation having only one having only one variable dependent variable which is depending on the independent variable t now this is the ordinary differential equation or you can construct any physical world problem into a mathematical model this is the mathematical model mathematical model and this is the problem to find out the speed of my car this is the problem engineering problem and this is the mathematical model of that engineering problem this one okay now same process is for the electromagnetic em electromagnetic problems or electromagnetic phenomena are model in terms of maxwell maxwell equations now if you solve maxwell equation further and and the special cases of maxwell equation you can find out the laplace equation poisson equation wave equation and time dependent wave equation these are the uh, special cases of maxwell equation or you can derive this equation using maxwell equation the structure of the our partial differential equation is l phi equal to g where l is the operator like del square double square upon double t square del square plus k square phi is the unknown function and g is the known source like the charge density okay and del square plus k square is the operator here here it is del square and here it is also a del square operator so the uh, any the structure of equation is like this l phi equal to g l is your del square which is your operator phi is unknown scalar or vector then our source function zero okay now the second big question is how to solve how to solve our ordinary or partial differential equation okay so there are two methods the first method is the first method is analytical method then second one is the computational methods okay now these are the analytical method the first one is the method of separation of variables followed by the green function based integral solution then conformal mapping followed by the integral transform and in the computational method you will find fdm finite difference method finite difference time domain method finite element method fpm and method of movements mom etc now this is the classification of analysis means to solve your ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation there are two types of approaches the first approach is theoretical approach and second one is the experimental approach in experimental approach we directly construct a physical or practical setup in lab to find out our solution but in theoretical method or approach we use pen pencil and mathematical tools to solve the problem first on paper then apply the solution to construct a practical setup in lab so the theoretical method methods are subdivided into four parts 
the first one is the analytical method which are the accurate and efficient but application is limited to regular shape and geometry only because we have the mathematical models and mathematical tool but they are dealing with only for the regular geometries and they uh, they are limited to very small dimension the second one the theoretical method is model based method then computational method in which you can solve different dimensions or different types of material using fdtd fpm mom tla method or method of line and hybrid method these are the types of computational method then computational intelligence method to predict the value of existing database for optimization such as the neural network techniques and neurophysics techniques in this course we are only concerned with the computational methods okay this method these methods can be used for the any type of geometry any irregular geometry now this is the classification or method of analysis okay so this slide is totally describe this tree diagram this is a tree diagram which describe the classification of method of analysis now mathematical framework of electromagnetic means to solve the maxwell's equation what you have to do first now there is a em problem means to find out the radiation pattern of any dipole antenna for example so there is a em problem physical world problem in terms of electromagnetic now the very first approach is to write down the em problem in terms of maxwell's equation then apply boundary condition and use fdtd to solve there is another approach first find out the em problem write down its maxwell equation then translate the that maxwell equation into wave equation apply boundary condition and then solve using analytical or computational method there is another approach first write down the em problem write down the problem in terms of maxwell equation apply boundary condition then integral equation and then after writing the integral equation just solve them using analytical or computational methods only so these slides are describing the this flow chart only now what are the objective to use the analytical method and computational method why we use different types of method to solve the ordinary differential equation the very first thing is to determine the unknown fields means suppose i want to find out the e field or h field of the given problem then to find out the charge or potential and to find out the current distribution etc okay so these are the objective means i have to find these terms or more using analytical method and computational methods 